it's a little difficult on on uh, Friday night. Yeah, look, it, it will be, but um, I'm sure once once uh, once we run out, um, we'll, we'll be locked and focused as a footy side, and uh, we're, we're going over with a mission in in uh, in mind, and that's that's to to beat Port Adelaide. Um, we know they're in red hot form. Um, they're playing some wonderful footy, and they've got dangerous players all over the ground. So we're going to need to be at a be- at our best, but uh, can't wait for the challenge. Uh, it's exciting. We're looking forward to it as well. Christian Petrarca, a new seven-year contract. You hear that noise? That's the bank account that just keeps ticking over every now and then. <laughs> seven-year contract, second All-Australian. Yeah. You finished on top of the ladder and you're playing for a spot in a prelim. Life's pretty good. Yeah, it's good. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, incredibly proud to be, uh, you know, second-time All-Australian. It's something uh, that this year was, um, you know, probably our culture and something that we've been building on is is just everyone just playing their role and I'm just happy to be a part of five of our teammates that, um, you know, have earned this jersey. Now, Track, have you had any uh, guest speakers down this week uh, before the finals? You haven't called Gary Lyon down there to talk through those final series of yesteryear. What, how's the lead-up been? Idiot. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, well, it's obviously due to COVID. We haven't really had anyone else uh, come into our facility. We're sort of in this bubble um, before we head off to, to Adelaide. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've got the question. Sorry. Can you yeah, start? No, it's, not worth, uh, it's not worth being asked again, to be honest, Trent. You're not allowed in there. You're not allowed in there, no, Gary. That's what they're saying. I coming in, I can't get in. Hey, what about... Hey, I'll tell you what we did okay. love. We love the emotion... Uh, post-game, when you went back out onto the ground after, you know, the extraordinary finish that it was, sorry, Tommy, last week, but you came out and it, the emotion was genuine. It was a it, it was a real connection to what's been a difficult period for Melbourne over a long period of time. Yeah, it has been. And, you know, I've been pretty fortunate. I first got to the club in uh, 2015 and, um, you know, we sort of started being on the up from there. Um, but even during my time here, we've had some, you know, really serious lows and, you um, you know, you know, one of the players that wasn't playing in our game was Nathan Jones, and someone who's been here, uh, for, you know, for 15 plus year and years, and um, 14 of those years have probably been uh, some of the darkest days. And um, you know, you know, we play for those guys, and you know, my emotion after the game was for people like that and our fans who have been, um, you know, who've gone through some frustrating periods and you know, you know, some serious anger towards us, and um, you know, to win that game, you know, after the siren. Um, and Gorney, you know, kicking it through is something that um, was really special for us and something that the club hasn't done in um, 57 years. Yeah, we saw tears for the first time from Gary uh, on Saturday night. It was a fantastic finish. Now, Bond, well done to you, mate. A fourth uh, jersey, fantastic effort at this young age, really. And it looks as if the captaincy mantle sits nicely on you. Uh, yeah, I think it's something that I've, I've probably grown into. Um, you know, you probably don't expect 100% of, of what the uptaking might be. And you do know um, in that position that there's things that, yeah, you sort of have to, to learn on the go and learn on the fly. But I was fortunate with with previous, I guess, custodians of the, the skipper um, element with, with Bobby Murphy and Eastern Wood that um, I've got some some good role models there to, you know, to learn off and, and you, you need that support, I think, as a, as a captain. But I've been lucky with, with especially having those blokes. You played a different role on the weekend. You played a number of different roles. We're not going to see you as an All-Australian Ruckman at some stage, are we, Bond? <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't think so. Um, I don't think that's in the in the planning. Um, you never know, um, but, but I'm pretty pretty comfortable probably just, um, yeah, kicking around the midfield, sort of half-forward line. You've got an unbelievable midfield. I mean, it's yeah. the whole footy world sits back and looks at it and you go so deep. I mean, what, the, the role playing within that, how's you, how do you sort that out? I mean, who's who's in at it, who's spreading at the right time? How do you play that one? Yeah, it's, it's an important ba- balance, um, Gaz, and it's probably something we haven't got exactly right in the last couple of weeks um, and it's something that we really need to ensure is, is spot on and, and ultimately it's about... Wherever you are on the ground at any given time, you've got to make sure you're filling and playing that role to the best of your ability. And as you said, we've got we've got some strong midfielders who have some strong inside games and strong outside games. And the key for us is to, to get the balance right, is make sure that regardless of where you're on the ground and what position you're in, that you're committing to, to what that part of the game needs. So um, it's something we need, to, we need to do come this weekend. All the best on Sunday, Bond. Congratulations again. And just to finish off, Tommy, when Jeremy Cameron joined the Cats, did you just pull him aside and have a quiet word and say, just stay out of my way, young fella? 
Uh, no, I, I didn't need to, Brownie. Um, unfortunately for for Jerry, he uh, he sustained an injury late in pre-season and wasn't able to uh, quite have the impact of, of right across the season that he would have liked. But um, he's been an absolute joy to work with. Uh, he's got a wonderful sense of humour. I look forward to playing with him with the next couple of years. And then uh, when I in my late thirties, I look forward to uh, sitting in the grandstand and having a few pots and watching him kick goals too. Yeah. Sounds perfect. That yeah. Hey, I, like we're that. on a tight time schedule, but yeah. your daughter Primrose, I'm told, has a Marcus Bontempelli doll that she carries around with her <laughs> during the day. Is this right or not? Yeah, it is. Um, it is Gary, um, and not to embarrass Marcus, but we got it. Um, from uh, a lady that's looked after our children in the past and she's a mad bulldog and uh, our daughter Primrose has, has taken a real interest to it. She uh, she does carry it around uh, wherever she goes, uh, daycare, she <laughs> takes it to bed. So it's, um, it's been quite quite funny, to be honest, um, how, it's, uh, how it's all transpired. But she's a lover of the bulldogs and a lover of the cats, so she fits about 50-50. So um, I can take that. We all are. Hey, we're all, and I've got a Christian Petrarca doll I take to bed as well. So, we're, hey, we're all good. <laughs> boys, no great surprise. You three boys have uh, got your sides playing on the weekend. So, good luck to all three of you and uh, congratulations again on, a, on fantastic years. Thank, Thank you, guys. You.